let's practice using Hess's law to find the enthalpy change of the following reaction highlighted in yellow. The first step that we can take is looking at the four reactions that comprise our final reaction and seeing where we have our different components. So we have our calcium oxide, our water, and our calcium hydroxide. Now we need to see if we need to manipulate any of these components to make sure that when we add up these reactions, we get these components on the proper side of the reaction. So first we see that our calcium oxide is on the product side, but we need it on the reactant side. So with reaction one, we will need to reverse, and that means we need to flip the sign of the enthalpy change. The same is true for reaction two. We also need to reverse this reaction to get water on the reactant side, and that means we will also flip the sign. So instead of having negative 286 kilojoules per mole, it will be positive. And that's the same for reaction one. When we look at reaction four, this is in the proper location. We want calcium hydroxide to be a product, and it is. Now looking at reaction three, none of these components are present in our final reaction, but the purpose is we want to go from calcium hydroxide as a solid to the aqueous state. So that's why that reaction is present. So now let's go through and set up our calculation. We've got reaction one, and we know we need to flip it. So we have calcium oxide solid yielding calcium solid and half of oxygen gas. And we know the enthalpy change for this is going to be positive 635 kilojoules per mole. Now going to reaction two, we also need to flip this one. So we get water in the liquid state yielding hydrogen gas and half a mole of oxygen gas. And the enthalpy change for this component is positive 286 kilojoules per mole. Our third reaction we also know is in the correct order because we know we want to cancel out the solid calcium hydroxide. So we'll go ahead and write in calcium plus oxygen gas plus hydrogen gas yields solid calcium hydroxide. And we'll leave this enthalpy change as is at negative 986 kilojoules per mole. Our final equation is also in the proper order and we have solid calcium hydroxide going to aqueous calcium hydroxide, which has an enthalpy change of negative 82 kilojoules per mole. So what we're going to do is we're going to add up these equations and let's do our enthalpy change first. So our enthalpy change is going to be equal to 635 plus 286 plus negative 986 plus negative 82. And now you need to grab your calculator and if you calculate it out, we'll get negative 147 kilojoules per mole. So that's our final answer for our enthalpy change. But let's go through and make sure we get our final desired calculation, or equation rather, which is calcium oxide solid plus liquid water yields calcium hydroxide in the aqueous state. So let's go through and remember we have our desired reactants and our desired product. But let's make sure we did this correctly. So let's make sure everything cancels, all these intermediates. So solid calcium cancels. These half moles of oxygen will add up to being 
one mole of oxygen gas, which cancels out with that one, which is a reactant. The hydrogen gas cancels and the solid calcium hydroxide cancels. So there we go. We have made all of our checks and we have demonstrated that the enthalpy change of the highlighted reaction is negative 147 kilojoules per mole.